Welcome to the Christmas special of eBay Road Trip. Today we'll be travelling to the seaside town of Ride, where each player will be given £10 to spend at local charity shops. Then they'll see if they can sell the items on eBay. Let's meet today's contestants. You mate, what's your name? Alan. Alan has refused to disclose his age. If he wins any money, he's going to spend it on... Ice cream. You, name? Marek. Marek is a young looking 41. What will he spend any winnings on? Baked beans. On their road trip, they'll be going from here all the way to here. They'll be travelling in Alan's new second hand car where none of the electrics work properly. Let's go. Shall we listen in to their conversation? Looking forward to the road trip, Dad? Not really. Great stuff. Soon, they're in Ride. You can always tell when you're on Ride High Street as most of the people look like they've already died. If you want to find Ride, it's almost in the same direction as the toilets. The best thing about Ride is there are lots of different ways of leaving it. Our contestants visited four different charity shops. Alan mainly looked at ladies' dresses, while Marek looked like he murdered someone. Let's see what they bought. I've got three nice green bottles. Uh, they look as if they might be antiques, so I don't know what they're worth. But they're all different shapes, nice colours. I think they'll do very well for a collector of bottles. This item here is a novelty Indian elephant. Uh, I think it must have been made in India or somewhere like that. It's a silver. Hong Kong on the bottom, Dad. Does it? Well, Hong Kong is a bit like um, India. Uh, it's silver plated. It's nice and heavy. Uh, I think it's a, a very nice little novelty item and I think that would sit as a paperweight or something like that and do very nicely. Now this only paid 75 pence for but as Marek humiliated me last time it's a nice little plaque that says dads are like sunflowers uh, in the garden head and shoulders above everybody else which is quite true. I think this is my star item uh, it's an Italian robin modelled by Leonardo so it's pretty old uh, and pretty unique and I should think I might get a couple of million pounds for that. I've got a nice little pill box here, uh, nothing very exciting but it would look nice on a ladies dressing table. Now this is a, my last item is a rather nice Chinese keyring. Uh, I don't know whether it's Ming Dynasty or Minging Dynasty but uh, it's quite nice and uh, I think a lot of people would like to have that, particularly ladies as a keyring. Let's see what Marek bought. My first item was this, uh, a vase which you could fit only one flower in it. It's got uh, an opening at the top to put the flower in and the base is sealed so you know when you put your flower in there it's easy to access and to remove which is the main features of any vase. My next item is possibly one of the greatest art discoveries of the 21st century. I have found a, a new Turner. I thought this might be the original but then on closer inspection, it turns out it's a postcard. This next item is, I don't know if you can see it, is a tiny teddy bear. This is a great for a present if you wanted to give to any children that you didn't like, as it's the perfect size for them to choke on. My next item is possibly one of the greatest charity shop discoveries of all time. Uh, regular viewers may remember that in the previous show, I discovered a dolphin pencil holder with a ball in his nose in the shop and that was my, I think, second or top selling item. I thought, you know, that was a one in a million. Turns out it wasn't. First thing I saw in the shop is another wooden dolphin sculpture, but not just one, two dolphins. The mother and the baby dolphin going for a swim in a tree. I'm very excited and I hope that there are several people out there going through sort of really emotional difficulties at the moment who will be susceptible to this and think it's got healing powers or some shit like that and buy it, that's what I hope. Well that's all the amazing items. You can look at them on eBay in the links below and see how they sell in part two. Take care and happy Christmas. <laughs>